Graven, congratulations, my brother. We want to personally congratulate you on a new addition to your family, man. Big shout out to Engraven. Thank you for showing love. And it's appropriate that you came in the building as we get ready for Ravens, Poppers. And look who's in this picture, the one and only Lamar Jackson, who uh, I actually woke up to this today hearing about it because I really didn't hear too much about it uh, earlier. Baltimore Ravens head coach John Harbaugh says that Lamar Jackson can be the greatest quarterback in NFL history. And <laughs> yeah, I I don't I don't I don't really know what to go. Let me get the quote. Um uh, let me let me get the official <laughs> quote. He said I was, let me get the quote. <laughs> yeah, um basically and I quote uh the vision that we have together is that Lamar Jackson is going to become known as is going to be known and be recognized as one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play in the history of the National Football League. And then let's see, we go down. He told the Associated Press, that's the vision. It's going to happen by Lamar's work ethic and brilliant talent by all of us pouring into that effort together as a team, team working by the grace of God and God's will. That's how it's going to happen. And I believe we've already seen it. All right, guys. Uh, Rod, you want to tackle this first? I mean, Cavante shaking his head. I know. I mean, I know Rod, you didn't really like the comments too much. <laughs> bro, bro, I, I almost, I don't know. I, I saw that comment this morning, man. And I'm like, bro, what are you doing? What are you doing for real? Like, why would you say that? No, don't get me wrong. I know you're trying to defend Lamar. I know you love Lamar. We love Lamar. Lamar is a fantastic quarterback, two-time <laughs> MVP. And all that. He's great. Don't get me wrong. He is great. But, bro, y'all didn't win last year, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all didn't win the Super Bowl last year. Did they Did they win the Super Bowl last year, Byron, Provante? No. Did they even make it to the Super Bowl last year? Ah, no. Close. Close, but no. Has, has they Have they been to the Super Bowl since 2012? Oh. Oh. 2012, Go No, they didn't. I, I, I don't believe so. So, I don't, I don't understand how... One, Lamar can be the greatest quarterback of all time when he doesn't even have a ring yet. And two, how many playoff games have you won since you won the Super Bowl? Two, three, maybe? Like, what, what, what are we doing here? What are we doing here, man? Like, you're giving more, you're giving more, um, more credence to what a lot of these goofies on these uh, media platforms um, come at you with, you know, like like the first takes, the Stephen A. Smiths who, who spoke today and had a lot of strong things to say about John Harbaugh. Oh. And then you then you have the goofies um, over there at Fox. You do the big nose. I can't think of his name. Nick Wright. Yeah, his, his, his goofy behind. <laughs> <laughs> he is a goofball. You know, that's not, like, he's a goofball. Like for real, for real. Um, <laughs> But then you have Acho, Emmanuel Acho, who always has a lot of slick stuff to say out of his mouth. Very true. Very true. So it's like, bro, it's like, why would you add more ammo to that? And I you know they're going to come after Lamar. Like, I Lamar's been getting destroyed this entire summer. Like, they've been putting him, like, fourth on the list. They've been putting him eighth on the list. And some people's list, he's not even on the list. I'm like, are you serious? So it's like, oh, yeah, he's going to be the greatest of all time. I want him to be. I hope he is. I hope he wins multiple four, five, six, seven Super Bowl rings. I'd be happy as a Ravens fan to have that. But to put that amount of pressure on him, you know, off the bat, like, oh, yeah, he's going to be, you know, the greatest thing ever. You know, he's going to be the greatest of all time. I'm like, bro, is Patrick Mahomes not playing? <laughs> is Patrick Mahomes not playing right now? You take the words right. I, 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 I just don't understand. I don't, I don't get it, man. Like, sometimes you got to watch what you say. Because these type of things come back on you tenfold. Like the 31 other teams ain't looking at you. They're looking at you. Do not give other teams bullet, bulletin material to come after you. And to me, that's what John Harbaugh did. Now, granted, like I said before, he was definitely defending this guy, which he should do. But you got to be smarter, man, when you say stuff like that. So you can have a Gravante. Go ahead, Gravante. That that's exactly what I was about to say right there. Like, did Patrick Mahomes retire? Like, like, and Lamar is great. 
L- L- Lamar is phenomenal. Lamar is very unique in how he plays the quarterback position. He's brought uh he's brought some electricity to the position. And it's an amazing thing to watch as an individual and what he means to the Baltimore Ravens versus when he's not there. He's amazing. Greatest of all time, greatest in history. Well, whatever he said, nah, man. <laughs> nah, man. We got guys like, once upon a time, Joe Montana. We got guys like Tom Brady. And we got a guy that he lost to in the AFC Championship and Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes is that guy right now. Until, until dethroned, he 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 he's the man right now, and it's nothing against Lamar. It's just Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes could retire right now. He's the first Battle Hall of Famer. He could retire right now, first Battle Hall of Famer. Not not no if ands or buts about it. And Lamar Jackson, I I, I just think that's unnecessary. I, I'm sorry, Coach Coach Harbaugh. I just think that's unnecessary pressure you're putting on him, and. Brother, I don't know if he know or not, but Harbaugh is on a hot seat. Well, it may not be hot right now, but it's warm. His, 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 I think his seat is pretty warm right now. So mm-hmm. to try to, <clears throat> I say, push, push this pressure off of him onto Lamar Jackson, I think is a terrible, terrible plan. Um, Lamar, now, now, and we all know. It's already enough pressure on him being a black quarterback. That, that that's enough pressure in itself. But now you gave everybody some bulletin board material, like Roger was saying. That's not you. You don't want to get. You don't want to amp nobody up than they already are and started started being. Um, I still expect great things from Lamar, but to be the greatest, you got to get to that big bowl game. You got to get to that big bowl game, and you got to get there a, a, a few times. You got to get there a few times. Brady, Brady been 10 times. 10. 10 times, one seven of them. Patrick Mahomes been there, what, four, four times and been in the league eight years, seven, eight years, whatever. He been in the bowl four times and been in the AC championship game every year, pretty much, except for his – uh. But that first year, we don't count. His first four year, all his four years, AC Championship every year, pencil him in. That's what Lamar Jackson has to lead the Baltimore Ravens to. The AFC Championship, you got to book yourself the, uh, the AFC Championship being in the bank every year. Pencil that in. Or Lamar Jackson at least being a participant in the AFC Championship every year. Because that's the only way to get to the Super Bowl. You got to get to the AFC Championship first. Yeah. You gotta get there. You gotta win. You gotta get there. You gotta win. You gotta get there. You gotta win. And oh. I, and I think, coach, coach, that I just think that's a lot. I think I think that's just a, that's a whole lot of pressure to put on your young black quarterback. But you know, I, I don't let. Is that Paul Pierce? Yeah, that is Paul Pierce. Paul I actually Pierce. like Paul. I actually like Paul Pierce on, on Undisputed. He's not bad. He's actually entertaining. He's entertaining. Well. He'll be, he'll be by himself because Skip will be <laughs> by himself after oh. the end of the summer. Okay, well there you go. We got breaking news from Miss Sharon. Oh, no surprise there with eighty million, eighty million dollars. No surprise there. Okay, so so she so so she finally got Obama's uh, endorsement, huh? There you go. Low season. There you go. Congrats for eighty million. I wait right. for my percentage in the mail, but um. <laughs> Man, come on, man. Uh, how do you guys feel about that? You, you spoke about the list, Rod. I did want to touch on that a little bit. He was what number four, like you mentioned. What's up with that, man? Why are they disrespecting this man like he didn't just win two straight MVPs? I can see, I can give you Mahomes, but was there anybody else better outside of Lamar last year at the quarterback? Besides, I mean, even Mahomes had a down year, if I'm being honest. No, right, yeah. right, right. No, right. no, you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, no, no, it ain't gonna be this year because he got some weapons. I'm, I'm a little worried about that. That's offense. scary. That I, yeah, I, I saw. I saw a glimpse at oh. Kansas City Chiefs training Practice. camp. Yep. He threw that bomb to Xavier Word. I said, oh, boy. You see, how and, you, saw how, you see how he burned that dude that was guarding him? <laughs> like, what, what are we doing? 
What are we doing? And then Travis Kelsey came up the sideline and did a dance. I said, oh, boy, here we go. God damn it. Here we go. But no, you're right. Patrick Mahomes, by his standards, had, did have a down year. And, you know, they were trying to get Brock Purdy, the MVP, for damn near the whole year, all the way up until the 49ers played the Raiders. The Raiders. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So from that, from the debacle of the 49ers by the Ravens, from that point on, I I thought it was Lamar. It was Lamar the whole time, and there's no if, ands, or buts about it. And Patrick Mahomes probably would admit that because ain't, ain't, ain't many people had the Chiefs going to the Super Bowl, let alone winning it, you know, you know last year. But, you know, it is what it is. But the, the, the disrespect is always going to be there because he's a he's a uh, an unconventional quarterback. I think I got that clip for you. You got anything, Roger, before we um, transition? I mean, training camp just started, guys. <laughs> what is this, day two? <laughs> and, and, and Lamar's, uh, Lamar's yeah, already... I think the, the best for the for the commanders. Lamar, Lamar is already uh, what, out for how long? A week? What is he, Probably. sick again? Yeah. I'm going to get this man some immune. So all that money he can't stay off, stay out of the aisle, man. I just hope for the best for Lamar, man. I really do. I do want him to win the Super Bowl. Because I do think he gets a lot of unfair treatment from the media. Like I said before, they pick on him all the time. He's always a, a person that they go to first to try to destroy or ridicule or, you know, put down. And then they have these stupid lists, these quarterbacks <laughs> above him, like Josh Allen and Joe Burrow, like they've beaten the hell out of him. I mean, no, to be honest with you, if he, I don't respect any list where he's not number two on it. If, it, if it, he should be number two after Patrick Mahomes, because one, he's the MVP of the damn season. I agree. And two, the last person he lost to is the Super Bowl champion, Patrick Mahomes. Acknowledge me. But you should be acknowledging because he is the tribal chief of the NFL. So if, if Lamar Jackson ain't number two on, on anybody's list, the list is ridiculous and is null, null and void. So I don't want to hear none of that crap. And I'm sick of the, like I said, I'm sick of the media talking crap about him. Hopefully, Lamar will be able to put a stop to this this season. Hopefully, but time will tell. We shall watch see. Travis Kelsey. Watch, watch, watch Travis Kelsey come out. I hope they show it. Look, 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 look. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying, yo. Of all things, Patrick Mahomes had arguably the worst wide receiving core. In the NFL last year, and True. now you give him, and now you give him a speed demon. That's all he needs is that. Y'all remember? We remember Tyreek Hill, yo. We we oh, remember. Tyreek. Hey, we made him famous um, in 2018. We made we made him completely famous when we allowed him to uh, beat our whole entire defense for the win. Yes, I will never forget that. And then and then after that, it was. <clears throat> they went straight to the Super Bowl. Well, not really. They lost to the, to the Patriots that that in the um, AFC Championship game. But after that, Patriots. they went straight to the Super Bowl. <laughs> they, they they straight straight to AFC Championship and lost to Brady. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, let's get to some more NFL news. We got a big time NFL wide receiver who has requested a trade. And Cravante, I put this on the list because this wide receiver we talked about him before. We talked about him coming out in the draft. We talked about him. This past offseason, when there were rumor and innuendo about his connection with your now quarterback, Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick, Brandon Ayuk has requested a trade from the San Francisco 49ers, made official about a week ago. Cavante, he's been linked to the commanders. I mean, um, we got a little dilemma with the Orioles here. What are you willing to give up for that guy that you need? I mean, you had Brandon Ayuk to the commanders. What are you seeing happening here? And then your, your thoughts on the situation. Um, I like Brandon Ayuk. I like Brandon Ayuk a whole lot. For him to not be the number one option or the number two option in that offense, and for him to be as productive and not be the top one, the one or two option, is crazy. Like he he is a number one. <clears throat> he's a number one caliber receiver for sure. I, I absolutely no. No doubts about it. Now, what I'm willing to give up, 
at this state of the commanders, I'm not willing to give up much. And you know why? My same concern I have for the past, as long as we've been doing this damn show, the offensive line. I'm not into paying top-notch money to a wide receiver. I, I and, and the wide receivers are needed. Top top guys are needed. But where we at now, we need to build from the inside out. I, I, I think giving up draft picks and all that, it's not – there's not the time for it. I think maybe two or three years down the line where we get the offensive line together and we're like legit contenders and we probably need one more piece. Then we get IU because the only thing the thing about it is that you get them right, like you have to pay them. You know, the interesting part here is John Lynch and Brandon Ayuk have the same agent too, so that's a little bit of an interesting mm-hmm. dynamic here going on, right? Like yeah. John Lynch, yeah, that's just, him and, that's Adam, team, yeah, and Brandon yeah. Ayuk on Pat Neck. I was just showing won. the Ayuk highlights, trying to get right. just show people how good he is. Yeah. But go ahead, yeah, no, he's yeah, amazing. Good. He's amazing, he's amazing. but. I don't think we're in a position for him to thrive. We're not there yet. We're too new at what we got going on. And again, I don't think this is the time to pay. One, give up draft stock. And we have to pay him. We're going to have to pay him top five money. And it's not to say that we don't got it, but it's we trying to build for the future. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not going to be contenders this year. Probably not going to be considered next year. But I think in the years to come, we can be. I don't think this is a time to give up draft stock and pay a pay a wide receiver top five money. And I think Adam Peters is going to play this. He's he going to downplay this and probably and probably not make a move. Because he's probably going to – they're probably going to want a one. The 49ers are probably going to want a one um, or a two – and a play like they're gonna want something crazy for IU. They're not just gonna let him go, even though the world knows that IU doesn't want to doesn't want to be there. But they're gonna want a one or two, and I'm not willing to give up my, our future when we trying to get our future together. <laughs> That's my thoughts on it. And but the idea of it sounds great. I don't think the money necessarily matches ma- matches it because I think they'll have a great they'll great chemistry. He doesn't seem like a problem guy. I think he'll fit well in our locker room. I this is not the time to really be giving nobody no crazy money right now. That's just my my two cents on it. Well, Raj, you had a lot of Ravens fans too talking about they wanted IU also. Can't forget the Ravens. You know, we always want a wide receiver or Ravens fans. Like we actually need another wide receiver. Uh, don't get me wrong, I would love to have him, but we're a run first team, so. And we're not paying wide receivers like that. I mean, look how much we paid Rashad Bateman. You think we're going to pay, you know, double the price or triple the price for Brandon IU? I highly doubt it. Um, I'm not sure where he goes. Uh, hopefully he stays with San Francisco. Hopefully this doesn't happen. I see you, Miss Sharon, peeking oh, around the corner. Oh, yep, yeah, I yeah. see you. Yeah, Ms. I see Miss Sharon back there as well, you know, for spongely, for spongely behind. You know, one in that one in that Mr. Ayuk uh, as a wide receiver. I see you, but uh, I hope he doesn't go to the Steelers. I hope he stays with San Fran. I think that's a perfect situation for him, especially with him, um, him and Debo together there, the one two punch that Brock Purdy needs. Um, also, I mean, where else could he go? I mean, Maybe a, I've heard Patriots, yeah, Steelers, no. Commanders. Yeah, maybe Commanders. That 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 could be a hot spot for him because you know he has a lot of you know chemistry with Jaden Daniels. But yeah, I mean the NFL is so tricky, man. I mean you got a lot of receivers right now that wants money, a lot of quarterbacks that that want money. Your CD Lamb needs a check. Uh, What's his name? The quarterback from Green Bay, Jordan, Jordan, um, love Jordan love. He he he's not playing in any preseason games until he gets a new deal of uh, Dak Prescott, of course, and wants a new deal. I mean, Tua. to uh, Jamar Chase is looking for another deal. T Higgins will be a free agent. T Higgins definitely wants another. I mean, a lot of people want another deal. I think we said CD already, but yeah, Michael so Parsons. If, I, if I'm Brandon Ayuk, man, I'm playing. I'm just playing this last year with San Fran. 
I'm a ball out and try to make it on the open market for real. I mean, I agree. I get that you want to trade. A lot of people want to get traded, but you're in a great situation right now. You just was at the Super Bowl, came this close from winning the Super Bowl. Go back to your squad, man. Ball out and get that fat payday in the offseason, man. That's what I that's what I would tell the young brother. Let us know where you think Brandon Ayuk will go and will he be a commander? Will he be a stealer? Will he be a patriot? Let us know what you think as well. Yeah, Ricky Parasol is pretty good, though. They did draft him Cravante, so they got receivers on deck either way. Yeah, I remember him in college. Um, yeah. Let's get to the WNBA. WNBA All-Star game happened this Saturday. Yes, we watched 